The James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern astronomy, performs many incredible feats, one of which is hunting for signs of life beyond Earth. And this gentleman, Dr. Niku Madhusudan, a distinguished professor of astrophysics and exoplanetary science at the University of Cambridge, believes it may have just hit the jackpot. This is the first time we are seeing an Earth-like biomarker in a planet outside the solar system. He posits that a planet known as K218b, located 120 light-years away, is not just a relic of the past with signs of ancient life, but is potentially brimming with life at this very moment. For years, the quest for extraterrestrial life has fueled countless discussions and debates, whether it's the whimsical imaginings of little green men, the search for fossilized remnants on Mars, or more recently, speculations about alien life lurking in the icy oceans of distant moons within our solar system. Yet, the situation with K218b is markedly different. Even Professor Madhusudan himself was initially taken aback by the data, needing a week to come to terms with the startling implications of his findings. It took me about a week to muster the courage to even think that that's anywhere close to real and break it to my own group, my own students <laughs> working with me. So, so you don't drink anyone, you're just shell-shocked for a while. This isn't just another claim of potential life, it's a discovery that might change everything we know about life in the cosmos. This revelation, if confirmed, could drastically shift our understanding of life in the universe. The JWST represents the pinnacle of space-based observatories designed to surpass the legendary Hubble telescope in both range and sensitivity. Launched into the cosmos to unravel the mysteries of the early universe, the Webb's mission includes peering into the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, searching for the chemical signatures that could indicate the presence of life. K218b emerged as a key subject of interest following the detection of unusual atmospheric components during its initial observations. K218b is classified as a Hycean planet, a term derived from its hydrogen-rich atmosphere and its extensive deep oceans that cover the entire surface without any land masses. This classification alone makes K218b an extraordinary study target. Discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope in 2015, it orbits a red dwarf star and lies comfortably within the star's habitable zone, where temperatures could allow for liquid water, an essential ingredient for life as we know it. Initial observations of K218b revealed the presence of water vapor in its atmosphere, a groundbreaking discovery that positioned it as a prime candidate for further study by JWST. The Webb Telescope's sophisticated instruments are capable of analyzing atmospheric data with unprecedented detail, leading to the detection of methane and carbon dioxide, both of which are considered potential indicators of biological processes. However, it was the detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, that has caused both excitement and controversy within the scientific community. On Earth, DMS is primarily produced by marine life, and its presence on K218b suggests a similar biological process might be at work. The implications are profound, as this could be the first detection of life's work beyond our solar system. The findings regarding K218b have sparked a vibrant debate among astronomers and planetary scientists. While some researchers are cautiously optimistic, others remain skeptical concerned about the potential for non-biological explanations for these chemical signatures. Methane, for instance, can be produced by geological processes and its presence doesn't necessarily confirm biological activity. Moreover, the environment of a red dwarf star known for its harsh radiation further complicates the picture. The resilience of potential life forms in such an environment would be extraordinary, challenging our current understanding of biology and habitability. Dr. Madhusudan himself has expressed caution, emphasizing the preliminary nature of these findings and the need for further analysis. The scientific community is eagerly awaiting further observations of K218b by the JWST. 
These upcoming sessions are expected to provide clearer insights and potentially confirm or refute the current hypotheses. Computational models are also being refined to simulate various scenarios, ranging from gaseous, lifeless planets to worlds teeming with microbial life, each helping to interpret the complex data returned by the telescope. The potential confirmation of life on K2-18b would be a monumental discovery with far-reaching implications across many fields of study. From biology and astronomy to philosophy and theology, our understanding of life's diversity and resilience would be forever altered. It would not only confirm that life can thrive in conditions vastly different from those on Earth, but also potentially point to the ubiquity of life in the universe as we stand on the brink of possibly confirming extraterrestrial life on K2-18b, we find ourselves at a pivotal moment in human history. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to function as our most advanced tool in this quest, providing data that could redefine our place in the cosmos. Whether K2-18b is indeed a living world or simply another piece in the puzzle of the universe, its study enriches our ongoing quest to understand the cosmos.